video. By saying that, I just stopped Fitz doing what she was about to do and that was, I think she really wanted to jump out of the cage. One thing that very often comes up when it comes to our guinea pig cage is the question of whether the guinea pigs can or will jump over that tiny little gate. Or lots of people write, oh my guinea pigs will definitely jump over that gate. And technically the guinea pigs can jump over that gate and no problem, it's very easy for them to just put their paws on the gate like Lumi is doing and then just fall out of the cage pretty much. At least that's what it would look like because usually guinea pigs don't look that elegant and full in control of um, jumping when they're jumping over something. In any case, the guinea pigs could do that but guinea pigs also don't really have the best depth perception. So for a guinea pig to jump out of the cage is quite the big risk because they can't really see how high the fall from the gate to the floor would be. The eyes don't really work that way um, so they can't easily see oh that's okay I'm just going to land on all of my four feet. So usually guinea pigs don't really do that unless you have a really young guinea pig. You know young guinea pigs are kind of known for being daredevils and are not exactly the most risk adverse animals. So my guinea pigs can definitely jump out. They just won't do that. Um, they have a really nice cage. They like it. They feel secure there. And also depth perception is not that great. However, a young guinea pig like Fitz probably would jump over this gate. And she actually did that uh, on Saturday when we were filming. <laughs> you can see Fitz definitely is not the most risk adverse guinea pig. And I had all of the veggies in front of the cage on Saturday. Actually, I'm going to put the clip from Saturday in this video because I cut it from Saturday's video. So, short throwback. I think we're doing a quick pause. Um, that is something I usually don't mention in the videos because I just film the guinea pigs, then I do a quick pause, and then I resume filming, and then once I edit this video, you don't really get to see that, um, that there was a break. But um, whenever we do videos where the guinea pigs get lots to eat, um, at one point in the middle, I usually break it up, um, let the guinea pigs go back inside their cage, refill the hay so that they can like get a big portion of hay in and then maybe one or two hours later we resume eating and the guinea pigs get the next portion of snacks, um, so to speak, just so that they don't consume massive amounts of veggies and don't really eat any hay. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do today. This is how these like food heavy videos usually work. I mean, you guys, you managed to make it look like you're falling out of this cage with me having the door open. On Saturday, when the guinea pigs went back inside the cage for a short little hay break, Fitz jumped over the little gate to get to the veggies. Fitz doing what small guinea pigs do. Lumi once did that as well um, when we filmed the video where the guinea pigs got lots of Christmas presents. When all of the guinea pigs were back inside the cage decided that she still wanted to have a sneak peek at her presents and she jumped out of the cage as well. It's always the very young guinea pigs who do that and usually once they've done that once or twice they just suddenly stop doing that. Um, maybe it's not that interesting anymore, in any case I don't really mind. Um, them doing a Gatsby. Excuse me. Okay, bye Gatsby. Hey Loom Loom, how about I just film you instead? <laughs> Loomy's like, but where are the pea flakes? I hear Gatsby eating them. Yeah, Gatsby discovered the mother load, Lumi. She discovered the mother load. Yeah, for once, don't turn to the human for pea flakes. Turn to Gatsby. Turn to Gatsby. Follow your ears. Yeah, you're very close. There you go. You found it. I've totally given up. You guys are out of control anyway. And nothing I say will stop you. Lulu being very much weirded out that she hears other guinea pigs eating a pea flake. Okay, you guys, I'm actually, I am going to stop you. Lumi?
Yeah, yeah, Nugget. Wig, wig didn't mean come on the carpet. This area is super messy. I need to clean the space underneath the cage. Also, I need to get my guinea pigs back. Really? Now you go underneath the cage to eat hay, Lumi. We all know who's in charge, right? Okay, wild pig. I'm having to get out your German name. Getzberich, come out of this area. Come on. Come. Yeah, I know, I know. There are pea flakes, I know. Get B, why is my hand wet? Get B. Hmm, I think she peeked in there. That also feels like some weird power play by Fitz. <laughs> Lying there and kind of being on top of Gatsby while she's drinking. You guys are just in a very dominant mood today, I feel like. Regarding the question of whether we aren't scared of the guinea pig jumping over the gate, they just really, sometimes a young guinea pig will do that, but usually only once or twice in their entire life, and the older guinea pigs don't do that at all. Um, Lumi completely stopped doing that, even though, I mean, she got rewarded in the sense that she was able to play with all of the pigmas presents. But yeah, I mean, you know what Daredevils, Gatsby and Nugget are, and if these two don't even jump out of the cage to get to the secret pea flake space under the cage, none of the others will really do that. And something that I just really love is when the guinea pigs put their paws on the gate, and I come in in the morning, and then they're all standing there, and I also really like them being able to look out of the cage and see everything, which is kind of why we went with this mezzanine space, um, kind of like this half level that we have here, um, because it is really awesome. You very often do me like love this spot. She always sleeps there and then has an overview over the entire living room and part of the hallway. And I think she can also see the door, which is really great, I think. Lumi really likes that. Excuse me. Meeting of the super fluffies. Well, I think I'm going to end this video here. I originally wanted to explain the situation with the gate because Fitz jumped over it and I thought I'd talk about our gate situation, but the guinea pigs had other plans and so this video was just proving how much personality my guinea pigs have. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Naked, stop going on the carpet. Seriously, I mean it. No. It's not one gigantic fleece liner for you. And see you guys next time. Bye. Nugget, no. No, it's not a fleece liner. No, it's a carpet. No, 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 Nugget. No.